guys and welcome back for another video. I am 39 weeks pregnant. Remember that my previous two pregnancies were induced so <laughs> we may have to you know get a third induction with this one but I'm kind of hoping that your girl can just naturally go into labor within the next week that would be ideal. <laughs> we have an interesting Kendra G live because Samuel L. Jackson made an appearance. <laughs> And I'm being facetious, not the real Samuel L. Jackson, but a very much lookalike, okay? We're gonna start off with a few comments <laughs> that I was able to read and just let us know like this is not gonna be a good interaction off rip. Yeah. I mean, if people are saying stuff like this, man, I'm like, <laughs> Clearly, you don't need to be on a singles live show. Let's sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and get started. Oh, hi. What's your name? My name is Leanna. Leanna. Where you calling me from, baby? Arkansas. Man. 36. 36. What you do for a living? Call center. Five. Five kids. How old are your five kids? Ooh, I got stair steppers. I have a nine, ten. I got an eight-year-old, a 14-year-old, and a 16-year-old. All by the same man? No. I have three fathers of my children. Okay. When did you get divorced? I'm working on it. He's incarcerated, but don't want to divorce me. How long have you been in jail for? Uh, um, he actually been locked up since October of 2015. He's in a federal prison. He in jail for how long? Um, uh, he got he got locked up in 2015, but he's supposed to be released. The website say 2026. Why won't he divorce you? Because he feels like the children need mother and father. But I feel like children shouldn't like hold you down in a relationship. Like you guys can be friends, you know what I mean? But like, I don't feel like you should have to, you know, be in a relationship just for the children. So you're, you're I mean, is it just me? Or do you hear her voice and then you see her talking and it's just, it doesn't match. <laughs> I try not to come for people and their physical appearance, but it's kind of like hard not to on a dating show type of situation because it's like, that's the main thing we're looking at. But we have a woman here, five children. She said they were eight, nine, 10, and then she had a 14 and 16 year old. Three different baby daddies, one of which is incarcerated in a federal prison. What? <laughs> you were on this dating show looking for what? Baby daddy number four, 36 years old? I'll be 36 in like three days. I'm not, you know, the best looking girl in the world or anything, but dang, y'all be looking like life just happened to you. She looks bad. Homegirl should have got her uh, uh, a Kendra G lace front or something before she came on. Like you can come on natural, but be cute. You guys tell me in the comment section, does she not look like a guy? She looked like one of them dudes that be hanging out at the liquor store outside of it asking for change. Like, jeez. Your, your husband is incarcerated. You're telling us he does not want to let go of the marriage. He will be out when? Supposedly 2026. So he'll be out in two years. How do we know he's not gonna, you know, try to do something to your new boyfriend? Hope. Hopefully, he has an understanding right now, and he'll still have that same understanding with me, you know, not wanting to be with him. I understand him, you know, saying, give him a chance, but we have an understanding. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of the abuse that we went through. He knows that I, I don't want to go through that anymore, but I do feel like it would be okay because I have been in relationships before during his incarceration, and I mean, it was fine. With me being a single mom, five kids, you know how it is trying to be able to get your monies together. But I'm already in that process. I just got to get the money together and take it to the man. So how long have you been trying to get a divorce for? Um, asking him for at least two years. Okay, so she's only been wanting a divorce for the last two years. So from 2022, you've decided now all of a sudden that you don't want to be with a guy that's been in prison since 2015. Like, it just sounds like some bull crap to me. Like, you're comfortable being married to this guy probably because he is the father of your kids. And maybe you're looking like, okay, he's a fallback guy. When he actually gets out of prison, you know, maybe I will be with him if I don't have anybody else better in my life. I bet you that's the scenario here. But he's been locked up for almost a decade. Like, this dude's in a federal prison. He probably murdered somebody or has a serious, serious drug charge. Goodness. That's crazy. He's missed the eight, nine, and ten year olds' entire life. You know, if he's been, wait a minute, if he's been locked up since 2015 and she has an eight, nine, and ten year old by him, how is that even possible? Because he's been in jail for like 
nine years. So how did you get an eight-year-old out of that? Unless that eight-year-old's about to be nine or something. It doesn't seem possible for him to be the father of that last one. So she could be lying <laughs> for all we know. She could have four baby daddies and she just threw that last one on him. <laughs> like I just, she is probably one of the most unattractive people that I've seen on this show so far, hands down. And then seeking this process on my own this year. And you're 36. So Leanne, Arkansas, 36. How many kids, do you have any kids by the man you're married to? I do. How many kids do you have by him? Three. And those are the stair steppers. The oldest ones? No, the youngest. The nine, the eight, nine, and 10. So your last three children are by your current husband who's incarcerated. What kind of man you think is gonna sign up for this, honey? What kind of man are you looking I'm for? I'm out here looking. That's why I'm out here looking. So I, I, I'm just curious, what kind of man are you looking for? Um. Somebody who can, I don't necessarily want to say protect, you know what I mean? But somebody who's open-minded, um, willing to go out on dates. Um, I don't want to say provide, you know what I mean? Because I can provide for myself. And, you know, I mean, we all do need a provider, but I'm not out here looking for no man for no money. I would hope that he does have his own money because I'm not trying to pay for his way. What are your deal breakers? My deal breakers would be liars, um, somebody who can't keep a job. Just the small town that I'm from, this is just what I go through. You know what I mean? A, a lot of us women here go through. Um, so liars, people who can't keep a job, um, things like that. And I wouldn't even say that I don't want to date somebody with kids because I love kids and I am a family person. Family is always first. You don't need to date nobody with kids, ma'am. If you have five of them in the house already, <laughs> that's gonna make the funds even tighter. If he, what if he got five kids too? Now y'all got 10 kids plus the two of y'all, 12 mouths to feed in Arkansas. Just stunned by the fact that she looks so much like Samuel L. Jackson. Instead of looking for a man, you need to be looking into an acting career playing as Samuel L. Jackson's stunt double. Um, but yeah, those are the things. I mean, I don't really have too many pet peeves as long as you clean, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. I mean, as long as you ain't out there looking bummy. I mean, I know I look bummy. I need a new hair, you know, do and stuff like that. But I mean, they ain't got to be out there with suit and tie. You know what I mean? Don't be out there with your pants sagging because a pants sagger or a thug or a hood person is not what I want or what I'm looking for. She got them dark purple lips. Like you stay smoking weed all day. <laughs> and yet you don't want somebody, you know, that's hood. Man, please. You know, you probably be sitting in your car smoking weed all day. The fact that she even parted her lips to say that she's not willing to deal with anybody looking bummy <laughs> you come on a singles live show looking bummy and then you yourself admit it like this is just so insane like y'all be aware aware of the fact that you are trifling aware of the fact that y'all are ghetto you are aware of the fact that you're not high value and yet you still are looking for dates you still are looking for men of value you know they'll be coming in trying to play daddy to kids that are whose dads are probably in, oh, obviously mia there's just no way she's not getting a date I, I mean any guy that would sign up for this would be first of all stupid because literally her dude's about to get out of jail in two years he ain't gonna have no reason not to start a trouble because he's gonna be looking for a place to stay and you know what he's gonna be looking at his baby mama i mean and you you best get that divorce lady especially while he's in there and then if i was you i would move states <laughs> i would literally avoid this man as much as possible because he's going to be coming out he's not going to have anything to lose that is like the worst type of guy to be attached to because he's going to probably be crazy sometimes i hate to say it but even the children are at risk how many stories have we seen of guys who killed a mom and then kill the kids too you know what i mean i just want to be transparent i think that a lot of times we don't do enough self-reflection and i mean just Without judgment, let's just read the resume. You know, you are a mom to five, but okay. Five, three men, but okay. But now you're married to one of the man, men who's currently in jail, who doesn't want to divorce you, and is going to get out in two years. Like, what kind of man is going to say, okay, I'm ready for that challenge? I know that you might not like the men you are attracting because you were describing them, but I think the best way to attract different people is to become different. And that might mean you might got to spend some time on just getting yourself in a better position so you can attract better. Because in this because in this position, you're going to attract Pookie. That's what you're going to get if you don't want him. I totally understand where you are coming from, Miss Kendra. And I definitely will go ahead and try to get that divorce and maybe work on myself a little bit more. And if you want a certain kind of man, you got to become a certain type of woman. So yeah, I, I um, let's, Let's handle some business. Let's see if we can do some more research on how you can be officially divorced from, I don't have the details on that, but let's figure out a way you can get officially divorced from your husband that's in jail. Thank you. Okay, bye sweetheart. Everything is law of attraction.
So whatever you're attracted, whatever you have coming into your life, you are giving something off to attract that. Just always remember that, okay? Yeah, those are some words of wisdom from Kendra, okay? You definitely need to heed that advice. Get that finalized divorce before you come on a show that he's probably watching somewhere from in somebody's, you know, cell. <laughs> probably through one of them big old clear, you know, computers or TVs or something. And he's gonna see this and probably be even more angry and wanna come out and, you know, be doing cutting up and doing some crazy stuff. Like, when you're dealing with people who have, you know, ended up in federal prisons, I'm just gonna assume that they don't have a lot to lose. And they'll probably be willing to do any and everything to stop someone else from being happy. Like, all jokes aside, that sounds very dangerous for her and for the children. So I hope for their all sake, I hope that she can literally leave the state find a whole new place to live where he can't find them and possibly even change her name at least you know what I'm saying um so that any place that she rents or or tries to live at you know he can't live her up but you made the decision to deal with a man like that so now you have to play your cards right and any guy wanting to come into her life would definitely be signing up for a whole lot of drama that's not necessary even a broke guy I'm pretty sure would avoid this <laughs> like he'd be better off living in his mama's basement at that point I appreciate you so much if you've made it this far. Leave me a blue heart. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys. And I'll have a baby in my arms next time. <laughs>